you now know how to stream from your phone to YouTube or Twitch, depending on which streaming service you use, or any other streaming service for that matter. Hello there guys and welcome to this video. So, from time to time people ask me how I stream onto YouTube and Twitch and uh, I might just as well show you guys since, I mean, it's it's really easy and most of all it's cheap. Although keep in mind you do need a computer for this to work, at least the way I do it, so uh, yeah, just try and keep that in mind. Anyways, it's really easy. All you need really is two different programs. The first one being a power mirror on both your phone and your computer. I'll show you guys here. On so you open up the Google Play Store and in the search window you type a power mirror. Oops, a power mirror. Here we go. And you will find this one. A power mirror. Mirror and control by a Powersoft LTD. You want to download this app, install it. And uh, when you open it up, you will get this screen where they send you a link to download the, the desktop client of a power mirror. And to have the best possible connection, I suggest that you use a USB connection because, I mean, if you have really good Wi Fi, then go ahead and use Wi Fi, but it will lag less with a USB connection. So that's basically all you need to do on the phone. Or wait, never mind, there's one more thing you have to do go into your settings. And you're gonna want to enable developer options so if you go into about phone and press the build time like eight or nine times or something you will have like you're now a developer or something pop up in my phone it's on advanced settings on normal Android I know it's just here in menu called developer options so you want to find the developer options tab you want to go into that and enable USB debugging which you can see here Make sure that's on, otherwise this won't work. You don't need to be rooted or anything like that, you just need to enable that. And we're then gonna head to the computer. Okay guys, so we're here on the computer now and you just downloaded the A Power Mirror software from either the link on the app or in the link in the description. So yeah, what you're gonna wanna do now is you wanna open up this program and uh, basically it will tell you a lot of stuff. If there's any exception screen then accept that. And uh, yeah, you then have this thing, it looks like sort of a phone-ish. And you have Wi-Fi connection and USB connection. If you press on the USB connection tab, you will see that you need to connect your phone via USB, which is obvious. But uh, before we do that, let's look at some settings. Depending on how good your computer is, you want to go into general settings and change the display quality. So if you have a really good computer, you can use 1080p streaming, which is full HD. Or if you have a kind of a bad computer, like me, you can use 720p, which is HD but not full HD. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter for me, I use HD only, I, it, it's fine, okay? So, once you have everything set up here, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna plug in your phone via USB. So, one part of the USB cord in your phone and the, another part in the computer, so when you plug it in, you should see this on your phone first. Allow USB debugging. This computer's RSA key fingerprint is blah 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 blah. You want to allow that and press OK. You will then see this. Select the device and start connecting. You select your phone since it should be the only phone connected to your computer. And after a while, while this is loading, a power mirror will open up, open up your, on your phone and you can now control your phone from your PC and you can see everything that is going on. So let's say we want to open up Mobile Legends. You can see here Mobile Legends open up opens up on the display on your computer display. You can move this around however you want. So that's basically how I stream from my phone to my computer. Now here's the hard part, okay? Or not it's not really hard, but it's kind of processor consuming. I don't know how to explain this. Anyways, you're now going to want to download OBS, which is uh, it's like a shortening for Open Broadcast Software. Uh, whoops. So, I have a link to that in the description, which you can use to download it. Okay, so you have now downloaded OBS, you have installed it, and you have checked so you have the right bit version for your Windows. You can find your bit version by going into the system info on your computer. But anyways, we're going to want to start off by going into the settings of OBS. 
and we want to change some settings here so if we go into video you can actually change the base canvas which is this black thing here and you want to make that to HD so 1280 times 720 and output scale resolution also 1280 times 720 so same on these two 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 what? On downscale filter you can choose whichever you want. This one is least depending but it's blurry and this one is the best but it's more CPU depending. I use the bicubic one in the middle. You want to set the FPS to 30 since Mobile Legends doesn't work in higher FPS's than 30 FPS at least for now. So you then want to go into the stream tab here. This is where you're gonna want to find your stream key. You can find this in your creator studio. So if you go into creator studio, you press the stream tab, you can see your stream key on the bottom there. And you just want to paste that in here and press apply. You can then start streaming, although you will only have a black screen, of course, because we haven't set, it, set up any video. So what you're gonna want to do now is you want to press the add button here under the sources tab. So you can see scenes and sources. You want to go into sources press the plus key and you want to add a window capture it used to be game capture it might be game capture in the future but for now it's window capture so if it changes try to add a game capture instead it works the same way so you go into window capture you want you can name it if you want to let's name this MLBB for mobile legends bang bang and press ok we will then get this screen here pop up we need to find the a power mirror main one if this changes in the future, you're gonna have to go through all of these until you find the right one, but it's supposed to be a apowermirror.exe and make sure that you have a power mirror on before you do this, otherwise you won't see anything. Anyways, you wanna find the right one, disable capture cursor, otherwise people can see when you use your cursor and that's really, really annoying. And then press OK. So you then have this black screen here, or this black screen, what? You have this screen here on your black canvas. It doesn't really matter where you put it, but you want to press Ctrl and F at the same time and it will fit the screen perfectly. So yeah, we're almost done now, but unfortunately enough with a power mirror, the program, you can't actually record the sound from your phone and stream it to your PC. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to add some music or something. You can open up a, let's say, a MCS livestream or anything, doesn't really matter. Just some royalty free music, make sure that it's royalty free otherwise you can get like copyright strikes and that's really really bad. But yeah, if you find some music you like, you can open it up in a window, let's say on YouTube, open it up in 144p so it's the lowest possible quality to make sure your computer uses as little CPU power as possible when you stream. And then go into the plus sign here, select audio output capture, let's name this one music and select your speaker. For me it's the Swedish weird word for speaker but VIAHD audio, it can be different for you. But select the one that says speaker, press OK and you will now see that you have this bar under mixer which you can you can change stuff. So let's say we open up some music now, shall we? So you go into your browser of choice, you open up a song, for example, Unknown Brain or and as you can see, the music is playing. If we go into OBS again, you can now see that this tab has a green bar inside of it, which it changes depending on how low you want the music, but you now have music on your stream. You've set everything up. If you press the stream or the start stream button, your stream will start on YouTube. And um, that's basically it. It's really, really simple, and I probably made it sound way more calm like way more harder than it actually is but just follow this and you will be fine but yeah guys hope that helped if it did and you're streaming sometime please leave a link to this video in the description so other people can get help as well because i just want to help as many people as possible and keep in mind as far as i know this will work best on android i think it works on ios as well but as far as i know it works best on android so yeah, keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, guys, I really, really hope you like this. You now know how to stream from your phone to YouTube or Twitch, depending on which streaming service you use or any other streaming service 
for that matter. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you liked it. If you do, remember to leave a thumbs up on this video. And if you stream, remember to leave a link to this video so we can help other people. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.